Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clues. And I'm starting off this week with styling animal prints. It is a subscriber request. So today is Saturday and I did not go to the gym today. I actually slept late and had a rest day, a much needed one. I was uh, very tired from doing uh, three days in a row from the gym and I did five days in a row last week with only one day of rest, so my body needed it. I slept late today until around seven o'clock, so that's really late for me. And then I lounged around in bed for a good uh, another hour after that. So now it's a little after 9 a.m. I have to run to the post office, go some, do some food shopping, and I may sneak up to loft after that. Not so sure. So I'm still kind of on my no buy or low buy, I should say, at this point because I've kind of cheated a few times. So we'll discuss that in other episodes coming up. All right, so today I have on a uh, snake print top. This is from White House Black black market circa 2018 2019 somewhere around then along with a dark gray blazer probably blazer cardigan long cardigan a duster probably uh 2018 i did not get the two together i got this with a different top uh which that top had to be perched because a jacket bled all over it <laughs> so with the cardigan and the top and i'll take off the uh cardigan so you can see the top it is a sleeveless blouse all right, and this is how I wear my sleeveless items in the winter. I just layer, right? So this is the blouse. It has like the ruffle down the front. Um, yeah, no buttons or anything, just a ruffle. And it has a little, little ruffle collar here and around the top too here. And the, the jeans. So these jeans made my skinny jean jegging purge uh, because I like the moto style on them. Um, they're very dated, you know, this style is out now. These are, probably I got these during the pandemic from Stitch Fix, they're Pistola. Uh, I do like the Moto style. So you're gonna have to tell me, do I purge these? Are these on the chopping block? Or they're cute because they have the Moto style. They are a jegging style. They are, um, you know, tight and tight around my ankle because they are like jeggings, but I do like that Moto style. So I decided to keep this <laughs> for now. So but you guys let me know. Time to toss. And the shoes, these are, again, my funky Steve Madden booties. They have the buckle on the side. And I just thought that looked best with this outfit. And that is my first animal print of the day. Stay tuned for tomorrow's next animal print. Hi, everyone. Today is day two for styling animal print. And initially looking at me, you're probably going to wonder, where's your animal print? Well, I have just accessories with animal print. First, my animal print earrings that my friend gave me, and it turns out to be, I'm actually meeting this friend today, so I thought it was perfect timing to wear these earrings. Um, and then my top coat here is actually a, a jacket slash dress from White House Black Market. I think I got in 2020 when I still thought I was going back into the office. <laughs> so it is a faux suede in this beautiful camel color. It's like a duster length because obviously it's a dress. And uh, with it, I just have paired on an ivory turtleneck that I got from Loft this year. And if you, these pants look familiar to you, yes, I styled them already with a different animal print outfit. I styled these pants with, um, an animal print blouse and that olive green blazer. But here I am wearing it again in a different way. They're a chocolate brown skinny pant from White House Dot Black Market in, um, it's a coated denim. And with it, I have paired my leopard print heels, booties, heel booties from Nordstrom. They're the BP brand I got circa 2019. And this is my styling animal print. Yes, I know it's not a lot, but I do have it on my feet and in my ears. All right, take care for, and see you tomorrow for another day of styling animal print. Hi everyone, it, it is Tuesday and it is now my third day of styling animal print. I skipped on Monday. Uh, I actually did not get dressed uh, that day. Um, I just kind of wore uh, leggings and a sweatshirt um, and yeah, I didn't get dressed. So I'll give you an extra day of this. So today, as you can see, I am sporting a zebra print, all right? Uh, topped off with it, I have a jacket uh, by Liverpool. Uh, I got this in a stitch fix. It is in like a tealish green. My 
top is actually a camisole from White House Black Market. And as you see, I just wear a regular bra with it because I keep the jacket on and nobody cares. <laughs> um, I have on my mother straight leg denim that I got during the anniversary sale and my pair of Jessica Simpson mules that I've had probably seven years now, long time, long time I've had these shoes, way before the pandemic. And that is my styling zebra today. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, I got inspiration for this combination actually from um, Laura from Little Box of Happy. She got a, um, a JB style boxer. It was denim, I think, um, a zebra shirt maybe in gray paired with green. And I was like, you know, I never thought of pairing zebra with green. I always do it with either black or red uh, or even hot pink never with green and I kind of like that combination so here you go <laughs> with green all right take care and see you tomorrow for the next day of styling animal print hi everyone today is Wednesday and I am in another day of styling leopard so today I have um, a sweater that has a leopard print uh, from RD style I think it's leopard print RD style I got this um, out of a JB style box when I used to do JB the pants, I believe, are cut from the cloth, and I got these from a Stitch Fix. They're like a brown utility style, uh, pockets here in the back as well, too. And the shoes are, I believe, Chinese laundry that I purchased myself from Nordstrom's. Now, I am not leaving the house uh, in all reality these were today's shoes <laughs> but i figured i'd style a pair of shoes that i would wear with this um it's a dreary rainy and cold day and i'm not leaving the house all right take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling animal prints hello everyone it is thursday and we only have one day left of this week and hopefully i make it so today's animal print is once again zebra all right you'll have to excuse i it's already dark this is the first time i was able to get away from my desk it, it is five o'clock and we pretty much have no sun out left. <laughs> so I'm using my ring light and the, the lighting isn't the best. So today I have on a sweater circa 2018-ish, maybe 2019, that I got from Macy's and it's that name brand Bar 3, if you're familiar with Macy's. It's a fuzzy zebra print, super soft. I paired them with a pair of Level 99 joggers that I ordered directly from their website. Level 99 is one of my favorite name brands. If you haven't tried them out, I highly recommend them. They're sold on Poshmark quite a bit too. At least in my size, I see a ton on Poshmark. Um, the shoes are from Macy's. They're my loafers. They're like a burgundy brownish and they're by Sun and Stone. I got a great deal on them this year for $35. So yeah, that is my outfit for today. Uh, see you tomorrow for another day of styling animal print. Hello everyone. Welcome. It is Friday. Yay. And it is five o'clock quitting time. And again, I have bad, um, lighting here. So I'm using my ring light. So I apologize for that again. So today, um, for I'm styling a leopard jeans. Now, I think I might have shown you this outfit before and styled it before last year, but if you haven't caught it then, you're catching it now. I'm paired with it this uh, just denim or chambray top. It has uh, puff sleeves here with like ruching down the side. I got this from White House Black Market. It is super soft. I got it years ago. Paired with a pair cut from the cloth um, leopard print jeans. Uh, brown belt from again white house black market it's i love their belts because they have an elastic back to them and uh a pair of brown booties oh i think i got these from nordstrom i don't know if it was a trunk or ordered individually and they're steven so not steve madden steven <laughs> yeah so that is my outfit today um, I might look looking a little bit different to you. I'll come a little bit closer. I'm actually wearing makeup today, which is a little bit odd for me because tonight I'm going out to an event with my husband and I have to dress up and it's a, it's like a, it's a thing for his office where we have to kind of dress up as if we were going to a wedding. So fancy attire for me. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I'm going to be playing with my closet now. Uh, take care and see you tomorrow for another day of uh, Styling Animal. I just thought maybe you'd want to see what I'm actually wearing to this event. So 
This is a little black dress that I got many years ago when I first lost the weight. And it's from Macy's INC and it cost me $30. <laughs> uh, I think I've worn it once before. Uh, it comes to right above my knee. The shoes I'm wearing are from Stitch Fix. I forget the name brand of them. And I don't know where I got this, but it's a little bit of like a scarf. So in case I get like a little bit chilly, I can wrap this around me later. It's the only thing I have really appropriate um, to cover myself up in case I get chilly. So yeah, this is the outfit that I'm wearing tonight. And hopefully I don't eat so much so my stomach pooches out. <laughs> All right, take care and see you tomorrow. Hi everybody, today is Saturday and my last day of styling animal print. So today I have on a sanctuary sweater that is uh, my probably my favorite animal print sweaters and probably my favorite, one of my favorite sweaters overall. I got this uh, directly from Stitch Fix. It is, the uh, reason why I like it, it's fine gauge so it's easily to put any kind of jacket over it. Um, it is neutral in color. It has these adorable cute little stripes here and the balloon sleeves. So I, I just love this sweater and it's kind of like the, the style that I like. Like I like fitted but not clingy if that makes sense. So it can be tucked in, it drapes nicely, it's not wide and boxy. I love everything about this sweater. So this I got again from Stitch Tricks quite some time ago, um, probably like two, three years ago, two years ago from the Freestyle app and it's by Sanctuary in case you want to try and find it on resale or something. Um, the jeans are also courtesy of Stitch Fix. They're Judy blue jeans. They're a straight leg and you might see these styled and still floating around Stitch Fix inventory. Um, they usually come cuffed. I uncuffed them. They're a straight leg. And as you can see, they're pretty distressed here on the leg. And even, these jeans are so comfortable. These are one of my favorite jeans as well too. Uh, today I decided to put on a belt. It's a tan braided belt that I got from uh, Transcend Every Eve. I believe it came in one of my boxes and uh, yeah, I like this belt. The shoes, the shoes I got from um, South Moon Under. If you're not aware of that store, I would suggest checking them out because they have um, quite a, you know, boutique type items like Z Supply, Aster the Label, A Goldie, Pistola, um, you, you, know, you name it. Um, they tend to uh, skew a little bit younger, but there's still plenty um, you can get in my age and older. You know, it's, I would say mostly it's meant for like 25 to 30 year olds or maybe even 20 year olds, but there's still plenty to get there. Um, in our age group and I you know love that store and when they have their sales they have some good sales and I got these shoes online they're by Vince Camuto they're a low booty kind of western inspired excuse my socks nobody can see them typically <laughs> and yeah that's my outfit today oh and I put on a, a necklace that is my Argento Vivo necklace from um Stitch Fix, Freestyle, and some just gold hoop earrings that I believe I got from Amazon. And that is my outfit for today. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? I'm free. Click the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any style suggestions or anything you want me to style, put it in the comments below. Um, I think this week coming up, I'm going to do a de styling denim different ways or possibly doing my new with tag stuff. And I do know I got a request to wear joggers more dressy. So actually vote below what you would like me to see in the coming week. Um, and take care and until next time.